I'll be honest, man, after last episode, man, do I even want to watch Haikyuu anymore? Obviously, I'm going to, but it's like Game of Thrones. For those who have seen Game of Thrones, you know what I'm saying. Once that, it's like, he's, that's your man. Like, come on, Daichi was my boy. He... What's up, Dapper Squad, or should I say Depressed Squad with me? Uh, hopefully, you guys are with me, and hopefully, I'm not in this alone. It's your boy, Darius, back at it again with Haikyuu, episode 2, or episode 17 of season 2. I'm just so out of it, you know? This one's called The Battle Without Willpower. Now, if you guys have seen RTTV at all, and you know about those other reactors, you know Rob City, always on about his willpower, so to have a battle without it is a pretty big thing, and... After how we were going against Wakutani and Takeru, who I really liked, and I was really liking this matchup, and then uh, it was just it was just all an accident, you know, it's just unfortunate. But with that being said, remember guys, if you guys want early access and full length to this show, all the other shows I'm currently watching, make sure to check out that Patreon down below as always. If you guys are want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment down below, it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. If you guys are new here, make sure to smash that subscribe button and join the Dapper Squad. Also, make sure to follow me on all my social medias at Dapper Darius, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. I appreciate you oh so, so much. Let's hop into this haiku. Season 2, Episode 17. Right? I mean, everyone on their team is insane. Come on. Of course. Of course, man. <sighs> he was the most boring, but he was the foundation. I've always said that he's the... The pillar, man. I don't even want to sing along to the opening. That's how fucking down I am. I've never been an athlete or even in the stands during a big accident or a big injury. I could scrunch up your neck. That can give you a concussion. That could be horrible. Good. Make sure he's still at least aware of his surroundings. Look for any immediate brain injuries. There's a level of pride, there's a level of regret, you know, feeling bad for yourself and the team. Oh my god, he's bleeding from his mouth. And he lost a tooth. He is a fucking savage. Yeah, I definitely, I'd play it on the safe side, man. Even though this is his last real tournament. Possibly. Yeah, I would feel awful if I was Tanaka, even though it's not his fault at all. Daichi immediately <laughs> apologizes. That's true. Always look at the silver lining like a good captain does. Yeah. God damn this fucking show, man. Which is a good sign. Not only his amazing skills on defense, but that mindset, that leader's mentality, you know? Chikara. Haven't seen him out here. I also saw Narita uh, last episode or the episode before that. I'm down to see new players all the time. Yeah. Don't think anything of it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> come on. No, come on, man. You're not wrong. I would totally let the stress and pressure get to me. Oh, it's Inoshida. I didn't know Inoshida's first name, Shikara. Okay. Well, I know Inoshida, so I, that's my boy. He's He's mentioned before that he has ambition. Come on. We know he's very there mentally. Like, he's a good dude. He's been there multiple times for us. Right? That's what Daichi would say. Come on. <laughs> he's just ready. Look at the silver linings, I always say. You know, move forward. Don't, don't think about the past. True. Come on, this isn't helping. Let's do this. This is for me too, man. They're saying this to Tanaka as much as they are to me. Like, 
I'm depressed. I need to get out of it, bro. Daichi wouldn't want me depressed. He has been a, a critical critical component in the background. Ooh, that was a good serve, though. I won't lie. Hey, man, you need, you need a couple of rounds to get warmed up, bro. Nah, you're good. It's all good. We got this. I love the drive. I love it. It's just making me tear up. Let's fucking go, Inoshita. That's something I really never thought about, you know. Old man Ukai. Oh, was this when they were saying, uh... Was this when he was saying it was a little too much for them? Yeah. Yeah. I know that feeling, you know. So much easier. There's the easy path, and then there's the right path. The good path, you know. But one's definitely easier. I know you missed that feeling, you know, she <laughs> Look at their reactions, too. Come on. That moment. Everyone's talked about it. That moment you feel like you love volleyball. He misses that, you could tell. I love the backstories on all the characters. I love it. Welcome back, brother. Got it. Who are now the second, some of the second years. Yep. Okay. So three of them are the two we saw plus Inoshida. It's crazy how quickly the the potential talk in the future comes to being the present, you know? Don't think... Crazy that he thinks that about himself. I understand why he does. <laughs> and then to cut to him doing this, oh. Shit's gonna make me tear up again, come on. This show is just so damn good. Good fucking save. Hell yeah, over to our ace. That's my boy. Oh yeah. I love that he uses his previous experience of running away, that he's not going to do that again. Right, especially when it matters like this, you know? Whew. Ooh, this is going to be a service ace. I knew it, man. My man is... Let's go. <gasps> Don't tell me. We get... Okay, it's that kind of... It's that kind of change in pace that we did last time. That change in anything. Just change the vibe of the game. Come on, Yamaguchi. You got this. Don't tell me. If we get Inoshida and Yamaguchi in the same episode, oh my god, I'm going to be so fucking happy. And I went to this episode so depressed. It's all good. It happens. Okay. That's definitely on their side. We're getting that for sure. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, that may have happened last time, but you still did good last time. And look, over on our side, that's a point. One more point. You guys heard that, that was a video rendering. No. Right now you're in the positive. Keep this momentum going, my man, come on. Oh, uh, he wanted to play it safe. I don't agree with that, but I understand why he did that. I haven't seen Yamaguchi's receiving. Oh my god. Oh, Inoshida. Oh, comes in so clutch. And then Asahi for this dub. That's us, right? That's set. That's set one. Let's go. Yeah, it's eating, at, it's eating at him, and I feel him. It should. 
you gotta let you gotta let that guilt eat at you until you will not do that again you will not live through that again Ooh. Ukai is gonna hand it to him. He does know. He does know. That's right. Normally, I would agree you need to scold him, but I 100% agree with Inoshita right now. He is very observant and knows what's going on. True. Everyone else's skills just outweigh his, you know? Ah, for sure. The emotional depth that's in this show baffles me almost every episode. <laughs> and I'm almost two seasons complete into the show, you know? I swear, this show makes me want to be a better person. I swear. Good. Good. Yeah, this second set is a different ball game. Having Daichi switched out mid set when we're only when we're already winning and only need like six points, and a whole set without Daichi is a completely different thing. God damn it, was that episode amazing? All right, I ended up blowing my nose damn near about seven times that episode. Every time I was like, all right, I'm done tearing up. They're like, fuck, let's just throw more good feels at you, and I was like, God damn it, Haikyuu. But uh. I ended up writing down Chikara's name, not knowing that was Inoshita. I'm sorry, guys. Some of the designs start to look a little bit alike, you know, so I, I didn't really notice that was Inoshita at first. But I love Inoshita. I said that many episodes ago. He is that background character that you pray one day will get his shine. And that day was most definitely today. A hundred percent today. I was praying Yamaguchi got his equal shine because he's been deserving it for a while as well. He got a little bit. But he has a long way to go, and that's well pointed out. I love, I love, love, love how Inoshida, even though he's not nearly as good as Daichi in terms of skill receiving and, and stuff like that, even in terms of his mental fortitude, he had already gone through it once where he quit and had already resolved in himself to never do that again. And so for him to be put in a situation where it was fight or flight and he fought vigorously and to tooth and nail, just makes you like how do you not feel good in your heart you know like i'm telling you this show makes me want to be a better person all around you know like if there's work i'm doing if there's videos i'm making i want to go that extra mile you know like it's just like these are animated characters that are made up in in this manga mangaka's you know beautiful mind but it's just like it still blows my mind but fantastic match fantastic serve first serve from yamaguchi um fantastic receiving from Inoshita, fantastic mental fortitude from Tanaka and the rest of the team. Daichi really put them in their place, man. And it's just, it's like, it's just overall, you know, it was just a fantastic episode. Like, I'm just in my feels right now and I want to watch the next one. Thank the Lord I'm going to. It's just God damn, you know, like, oh my Lord. But this was fantastic. You know, hopefully you guys enjoyed. On to the next one. Whew. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, Dapper Squad. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below if you enjoyed. Don't forget to check out that Patreon if you guys want early access and full length, all that jazz. And don't forget to subscribe if you guys want to be a member of the Dapper Squad.